uh, it depends state to state how these project areas are awarded. And hexagons seem to be the it girl right now. Hexagons are so hexy in this moment. And a lot of states are pushing towards universal service within that hexagon. So, and they're playing games and there might be fun little rules, caveats, one-ups and side quests within awarding those project areas. And back to my original comment, we've got socially constructed geographies. We have uh, topograph you know, topography and geographically constructed areas. And then of course our favorite shape in broadband, the hexagon, but watch those places that have hexagons because a lot of them are pushing for bidders to serve every single BSL within that hexagon. So the area itself is carved out. If you want that hexagon, you have to serve every single location within that hexagon, which I mean, anybody who's been in this field long enough to have one of these telephones knows that in rural areas, there are long standing social business and government boundaries that may actually influence how a network manifests in the real world. And furthermore, you know, for folks who have not been on the, you know, build and run side of things or on the, the infrastructure grant side of things, a lot of infrastructure grants that go to ISPs will award some locations over here, a little sprinkle of locations over mm -hmm. here, a little sprinkle of locations over here. So we're fundamentally changing the way that we're expecting ISPs to respond. Right. And so when you're saying socially constructed for people who uh, weren't in political science with me, uh, what we're talking about is that, for instance, like, you know, you might have a tribe that has boundaries that go along a river. Other tribes will have boundaries that just stop in the middle of a field. And, uh, and so a hexagon, you'd want to have it perfectly inside the uh, have multiple hexagons within the reservation and none that are half and half because that is an awkward situation to try to resolve.